Hey, it's your boy Chango Smiles coming at you with another video. This one is Are These Actually Aliens? brought to you by Penguin Zio. I've never heard of this guy, but this whole alien thing, I kind of skimmed through it and it looked pretty like pretty dry information. Um, and so I figured I would find something kind of funny that kind of gives us the, the gist of what's going on. Either way, it's fucking aliens. It's like, what is this world coming to? And apparently this is all brought to, uh, brought to us by my people, the Mexicans. <laughs> Let's check it out. Do you think me a fool? Do you really think there would be groundbreaking new alien information and I wouldn't know about it? <laughs> like them already. Ridiculous. I stay at the forefront of all alien developments. I love alien shit. Last night, there was a surprise broadcast from Mexican Congress where they presented supposed alien corpses. The fuck? And you bet your sweet bippy I was glued to it. Now, I want to start by laying out the foundation here. I'm going to give you all of the eating utensils. It looks like that shit was made out of bricks. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I gotta watch that again. Holy shit, look at that. It's like it was made out of clay or something. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Maybe explains all of it. Supposed alien corpses. And you bet your sweet bippy I was glued to it. <laughs> now I want to start by laying out the foundation here. I'm going to give you all the eating <laughs> utensils before feeding you the meat. Basically, what happened is there is a individual by the name of Jaime Musan. And he claimed that he had thousand-year-old alien bodies that he presented at Mexican Congress. There's a lot of confusion around this situation right now. People are misled into believing that this was the Mexican government coming forward and just dropping this hot potato on everyone out of nowhere, when that's not the case. This is from an individual, Jaime Musan, who is a UFOologist and researcher, and he is presenting all of it. And this isn't even his first time doing it. In 2017, he presented yet another mummified alien corpse, not human, but it was later debunked and proven to not be Holy alien. Holy shit. <laughs> so he has done this before, but this time around he's presenting new corpses and also claiming that there's been extensive research, studies, tests, and scientists working on it to confirm that these are 100% real, authentic, extraterrestrial visitors. Now, he and his team are saying that all of this information is available for any scientists around the world to confirm their findings, which I think is great. Inviting research into these is fantastic, and I guess we can finally know for certain if he's being truthful here, and these are somehow actually alien. Again, I don't know who this guy is, but for whatever reason, he looks like he could turn water into monster energy drinks. Like, <laughs> he looks like a total Kyle. <laughs> half Kyle, half Jesus. <laughs> Bodies. I guess they came down to earth for fucking spring break and just, they, they lost control of themselves. Maybe drank too much and died of liver failure. I have no fucking clue. But we have these corpses from thousands of years He's ago. Funny. He's claiming these are mummified aliens and has a bunch of tests allegedly that they've run on them and is inviting the rest of the world to do the same. So I'm excited to see if the rest of the world does that and if they also confirm all of these findings. But now let's get into talking about the aliens themselves and then I want to bring on an expert, my father. You all know my father is on the cutting edge of everything <laughs> alien related. If anyone's going to have an eye to see through the bullshit, it's gonna be old Papa Charles, I'll tell you right now. Oh! It's a little carcass. I couldn't Look even tell. Look how tiny they are! What? I don't believe that at all. That I, the this size is of way my too farm. stereotypical alien look. I think there is no way. I think there's yeah, absolutely I call bullshit. no fucking shot. <laughs> I, uh, I just don't believe that, though. If this looked actually less like all of the movies depict aliens, I'd be far more on the side of, hmm, possibly. But this actually just looks like a prop from, like, Arrival. Or not, not Arrival. What's the, um... 
He looks like oh ET kind of. What is the one that has the really quintessential grays from back in the day? I can't remember now. They even made like little postcards for him. Like you're invited. Okay. Pretty cool. Fucking X-rays and shit. It'd be wild if these were real and our movie depictions of aliens were spot on. That would be. What are what are those three black things next to its like crotch or whatever? One of those are turds. Like they were just holding that shit in for thousands of years. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep Crazy. going. Crazy. That would be big. <laughs> but I don't see why they would bother faking this. I don't this see what the, the game is other than like a good joke. Humano? No, Humano. I understand that. <laughs> Joe and aliens are likely to look like giant insects. I think they'd be insectoid as well. Your that would be would sick. <laughs> uh, I don't think he'd believe this. This looks very silly. Papa Charles. And especially just to drop it cold turkey out of nowhere on a YouTube stream. Well, I guess it was... He's really hyping up this Papa Charles he's talking about. I mean, it sounds like his dad is fucking... The authority when it comes to alien shit, right? I'm excited. I hope he has him interviewing on his. More than a YouTube stream. This just happens to be one of the places it was broadcast. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. So they put it into a database that is able to be accessed by anyone to verify their claims. They show a list of tests that have been done to the bodies, including... Metallurgy specialists, radiologists, and geneticists, they verified the authenticity and age of the bodies. They showed scans of their insides that showed metal implants in some of them, as well as eggs with embryos and organic material inside of them. Okay, well, if anyone can access it, it should be super easy for every other scientist in the world to start running tests on it, then to confirm it. That should be an easy slam dunk, then, if it's real. Oh, it's a 43 gig file. Holy shit. Well, if it's all there, then put it in the labs of the brightest scientists in the world. They'd all want to get a piece of that action, I imagine. Let them run wild. We could win the alien war if they actually look like that. In hand-to-hand -hand combat, for sure. <laughs> but their tech to get here must be nice. So now, let's go ahead and break down what we've seen here. Judging from the bodies, they're not that large. They're not, like, imposing in stature. I actually feel confident that I could beat them in a fight, whereas normally the only age group I'm comfortable at beating in hand-to-hand -hand combat is ages 12 and below. I feel like there's just not many children that would beat me in pugilistic combat. He's not wrong. I and mean, I've always thought about this, right? Like, if I were to go up hand-to-hand -hand against a gorilla or a wolf, or a bear, I would get wrecked, right? But, because we have technology, we can take them. And I feel like the same thing would apply to aliens, right? Like, I feel like we would fuck up an alien hand-to-hand, -hand, but they got fucking laser guns and shit. So, like, I think I think he's onto something there. I've always thought about this. Fucking shower thoughts, right? <laughs> Dungeon thoughts. <laughs> That, and I feel the same for this alien race if they're all about that same size. And who's to say that these aren't like their elite warriors and the normal aliens could be even smaller? Like, I feel like I'd have no problem just wiping the fucking floor with them, just feeding them knuckle sandwiches out the wazoo. So that's nice. That knuckle makes me feel a lot sandwiches. more confident should this be a real alien and they all look like that. I feel like we'd have a really good chance if it came to, like fighting them with our bare hands. Now apparently one of the aliens also had eggs inside of it, so I guess it was pregnant. Maybe it's possible we could dust the cobwebs off and hatch those puppies ourselves. That would be pretty wild. But now anyway, you've heard from the dumb Neanderthal, Charles White Jr., but let's hear from the preeminent expert in alien research, Charles White Sr. Here it comes. I've given you my perspective. I don't necessarily believe this, but I'm going to withhold full judgment for the rest of the world, scientific studies on these bodies. Hopefully those, those results and those studies will be conducted soon. But let's see what my dad had to say. Me. Hey. What's up? You look at the alien corpses. <laughs> no. <laughs> Where is that? How have you not seen him yet? Go, go look at him right now and tell me what you think. 
I'm working on the top fuel dragster. <laughs> well, the top fuel dragster can wait. You gotta see the alien corpses. I need an expert's opinion. Why do you care? Well, because you want to make fun of me? <laughs> I'm not making fun of you. I just want to know what you think about it. So where do they claim they got these things from? The Nazca Lines. They claim they're a thousand years old. Well, I, I know all about the Nazca Lines. I did that, yeah, I knew you would. <laughs> they look awful small. I mean, I, you know, I don't, there's, to me, it looks like a fucking paper mache rock or something. <laughs> so, you don't, huh? you don't think it's real alien evidence? <laughs> I don't think it's real, I mean, not to me, that, that's not real evidence. Hell, I can build that myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he literally said, this man said he could build an alien himself. <laughs> there you go. Why travel intergalactically to find these things and you just build it? Fucking go to Home Depot or whatever, and get some materials and build an alien yourself. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Right, so this one does not have your stamp of approval as legitimate. No, 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 but all the other shit in the world does. Like, all the, all the construction and all the other stuff. I mean, it's, I mean, this is like, damn. Is that Mama Charles laughing? <laughs> Alright, so it's not, it's not as convincing to you as Puma Punku and all that. Fuck no, not even close. <laughs> Okay. Well, you heard it here first. If my dad doesn't believe it's real alien evidence, then dag nab it. It's just not real alien evidence at the end of the day. So he's not super convinced of it. He's, of course, going to keep his finger on the pulse, as will I. Since they are inviting the rest of the world to study these mummified remains, I'm hoping that we'll get some conclusive yeses or nos on if it's extraterrestrial or not. I feel like that shouldn't be super hard to prove if it's a fucking alien, if it's something that we've never <laughs> seen before, and, you know, I feel like that'd be kind of easy if it's all real, but we'll wait and see. It, it, either way, it was still just a wild development from out of nowhere, so definitely wanted to talk about it. That's really about it. See ya. Okay, before I say anything, I like this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and subscribe and like the video and hit the the notification bell. I don't know what the fuck I did. Damn it. Well, anyways, I just subscribed to that. I liked it and I hit the notification bell. You guys should do the same to me too. <laughs> yeah, but this guy, man, like if these things are real, I can fuck them up. <laughs> I bet my kids can fuck them up. Fucking my wife can fuck them up. Every, like, dude, like, it wouldn't take my grandma can fuck them up. Fucking, yeah, dude. I, <laughs> but holy shit, who would have thunk that my people, the Mexicans, would have fucking brought this to the world? Whether it's real or not, that's the question, right? <laughs> Holy shit. I, do I want it to be real? Fuck yeah. Like, I want to meet these things, right? Like, hit me up with some knowledge. Like, fuck, man. Like, I, you know, I'm at a loss for words. This is interesting. I'm going to, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep an eye on this shit. Um, you know, I watch Rogan. And that dude's always like all about the aliens and shit. And I've seen a bu bu couple of those. If you haven't already, go ahead and watch that. Uh, fuck, well, what's that dude's name? With the Area 51 guy. Uh, I forget. Just hit up Joe Rogan. Watch his shit. And watch my shit too. Um, if you're in for a good time. <laughs> If you don't subscribe and hit the notification bell, you're going to miss out on this smile. <laughs> uh, anyways, it's all I got. Subscribe. I'm going to try to get to the bottom of this shit with real fucking uh, research. You know, a lot of my research is done when I'm in the bathroom on my phone, right? 
talk about top-notch research. And I'm gonna go ahead and watch this fucking Papa Charles and see if he can get to the bottom of it too. <laughs> you want some real top-notch bro science? Go ahead and hit me up. Anyways, that's all I got. Peace out.